I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, here's something we haven't seen in weeks, I guess. It's another origin story that tells us how a regular guy became a superhero. It's my review of Captain America right now. Captain America has never been as popular as Superman or as complex as Tony Stark slash Iron Man. He doesn't have Batman's toy chest, nor does he possess Spider-Man's sense of dazzle. Unfortunately, the same could be said of Chris Evans as Captain America, the first Avenger. Looks great, tries hard, but sometimes he's just red, white, and blah. The 3D in Captain America yields about three impressive shots and about two hours worth of underlit looking scenes. This is not a great looking film. Through CG trickery, Evans' Steve Rogers is a disturbingly scrawny wimp in 1942 America. He's repeatedly turned down in his quest to join the Army until super scientist Stanley Tucci tags him to be the first subject of a radical experiment. Mr. Stark! Meanwhile, Hugo Weaving, who's terrific here, he plays Johann Schmidt, who's well on his way to becoming the Red Skull. Like every other evil mutant, power-thirsty megalomaniac in movie history, he wants to take over the world. What he'll do with it, nobody ever really says. When you brought a 90-pound asthmatic onto my army base, I let it slide. I thought, what the hell, maybe it'd be useful to you, like a gerbil. Captain America is helped greatly by the casting of crabby-ass Tommy Lee Jones as a crabby-ass commanding officer and Toby Jones as a German scientist. As for British newcomer Haley Atwell, well, she's really good at sporting red lipstick and tight sweaters. The acting, maybe that'll come later in the career. What do you think? Yes, I think it works. Director Joe Johnston has fun with the myth of Captain America, who becomes a marketing tool before he becomes a real soldier. The problem is, Steve's whole storyline is that he was constantly bullied as a kid, and now he wants to stop the world's biggest bullies. And we're saddled with actual lines of dialogue such as, You don't give up, do you? Which is followed by, Nope. What made you so special? Nothing. I'm just a kid from Brooklyn. Not Helping Matters is one of the most obvious and pounding scores in recent motion picture history and a less than stellar explanation regarding that magic blue stuff that makes everybody so powerful. Captain America might work better as part of a team involving Iron Man and everybody else. As a standalone superhero, he's a true B-lister in a very average movie that earns the grade of C. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels Channel, TV About Movies.